Live from ClickOrlando.com, this is News 6 at 5.30. This is a News 6 Plus takeover. Here now is Lisa Bell and Candace Campos with Florida Foodie. Hello and welcome back to Florida Foodie. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Candace Campos. Today we are sitting down with a Brevard native. We always love when they're born, raised in here, raising their families as well. But in 2020, when a lot of people were kind of just sheltering in place, she decided to start her own business. Pretty bold move. <laughs> yeah. And we are so happy to be joined today by Q Breadwood, the owner of Q's Kraken Crab Restaurant. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. We have heard fantastic things <laughs> about your restaurant, the best seafood around we Thank hear. You. Tell us a little bit about your background. Obviously, you're from Central Florida, but how'd you get started cooking and, and owning a restaurant? I feel like um, it's just been something that I've always liked to do. I, um, I'm the oldest of 27 grandkids, so I've always cooked. I was always like helping my mom and stuff like that. Um, and I never thought of it as a, a business, mm -hmm. just something to do. And I kind of just fell in it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> literally, it started off as a hobby. I was doing like um, game night at my house and I would tell people, OK, you bring the seafood out, do the food. And then I realized that everybody's enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And so I did like a pop up one time and I started selling plates and I made a lot of money. And I was like, <laughs> this is a good idea. Yeah. And so I just started doing that. And then I got the opportunity to have my own spot um, a few years ago. I did that for a year. And then I started doing catering. And um, I wanted to give it another try um, since I had that experience. Um, and I met my husband throughout that time. And he was like, let's do it. And we opened up Q's uh, March 13, 2020 is when we signed our lease. Wow. Wow. And that was Friday the 13th, <laughs> the day that the what whole world started imagine, shutting down. Imagine, yes. like, isn't that crazy? Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of crazy. Did you think about it at that time? Ooh, it's yeah. Friday the 13th. You know, we've been hearing this kind of stuff in the news. Maybe it we was, should wait. It was weird because, honestly, we, we found the building at the end of January and then we were negotiating our lease from January to February. And we were watching our friend who was in China as a teacher and talking about this pandemic. Like, that's crazy. And I was like, that's there. crazy. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, mm, that's not going to happen, right. you know. And um, surely it came right over to us. Uh -huh. And um, I, I, we signed our lease. And then a week later, all the restaurants closed. And I was like, what did we just do? We got, the money's already spent. Uh, we negotiated four months of free rent. So right. let's just watch out and look at everything, but we don't have to open right away. Let's wait a few months. And we waited to 4th of July weekend and everybody was ready to get out of the house yeah. at that time. And we opened and it was fine. And wow. what a great location. Let's, let's just talk about that. <laughs> I mean, you're nestled between, I yeah. mean, you got... You got the pier right there. Uh -huh. I mean, could you have picked a better spot? I know. The crazy thing is there was a bagel shop before, and they weren't really using it. The whole space is perfect. It's like right in the middle of 528 and 520, you know, on A1A. So we're right in the middle of everything. Yes. We get a, um, a lot of cruise people because we're like less than five minutes from the world's largest port. So... And when you're at the ocean, you want to eat seafood, yeah, right? absolutely. So tell us about your specialties. So um, I think what makes us stand out is like our seafood rice and our macaroni and cheese. So we throw in a little, I, that's why I call it soulful seafood, because it's like I throw in our soul food, but it's like our still Florida style seafood with the garlic butter and the Cajun seasoning and stuff like that. So since you've opened this restaurant, um, your first brick and mortar location, uh, what has the reception been like in the community? Obviously, we know you're extremely popular, but what's that been like for you to see that? Um, it's still like, you know, it feels weird living in the dream that you had once, you know, and now having, you know, you're in it. So it, it's 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 great, but it's a lot of pressure sometimes, you know, because it's like an artist having that first one good like record and you like we want multiple <laughs> locations but I feel like it's gonna we have to manage everybody's expectation that mm -hmm. everything may not be the same as this one you know it's gonna be as much as the same but mm -hmm. you have those issues 
I mean, you balance, uh, you have a very good way of balancing a lot of things. You're, you guys are in the community. Mm -hmm. You have your own restaurant. Oh, and you also have how many children? <laughs> uh, seven total. <laughs> seven total. Seven yeah. children. And that is, that in and of itself is a lot to so that's manage. A, that's yeah. a double full-time job. And mind you, they range in age from almost one uh -huh. to 19. Yeah, so we have four at home. Um, the girls, it's always busy. Like I, it's all it's girls. Seven yeah. girls, yeah. by yeah. the way. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I stay at home during a week with uh, two of them. Um, then my 14-year-old is in high school. My 19-year-old is in college. She's a manager at the restaurant. She works on the weekends. Oh, great. Uh, we ha like to hire like a lot of the young high school and college students uh, so we can give them their first shot of uh, employment and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I hire a lot of my friends' kids mm -hmm. um, or the community kids um, that go to the high schools that I went to and stuff like mm -hmm. that. How is, how is it, you know, having your own restaurant, seeing your family, you know, involved in, in business as well, but also keeping it all in Brevard County? I mean, how is that kind of full circle moment? For you? It's, I think it's a beautiful thing. Like for me, I moved a lot growing up. So I went to three different high schools. So I have relationships at like Coco High, Rockledge High, and I graduated from Satellite High. Oh, yeah, you're jumping so, around. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know everyone. I, yeah. so I know everyone. And then I come from a family of like entrepreneurs. Like my, um, my dad was an entrepreneur. My mom had multiple salons. Um, it was something that was ingrained with me. Yes. I worked as a hostess, bartender, you know, mm -hmm. server. So I, I knew mm -hmm. the front of the house. So when opening up, I knew how it's supposed to look. Yes. Um, and I probably didn't have the full back of the house <laughs> experience. I'm like, I know I need a stove. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, <Yeah>. stove, <laughs> check. <laughs> Food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was a growing um, process, like, Oh my God, I remember when we first opened, I didn't realize how much storage we needed. So we kept selling out because, you know, if you, yes. you're going to buy a lot of food, but if you don't have a lot of storage. So, and right. in the middle of the pandemic, I think um, uh, deep freezers was really hard to find. Yeah, because everyone was stocking them. Yeah, so, right. oh my gosh, I was calling like every Lowe's, every place. And as soon as we would get one, we would go and I would rent a pickup truck and we would put it on the back of the truck and oh bring God. it like we're crazy like that like <laughs> we really are but you have to do a lot of that in mm -hmm. order to succeed yeah right yeah you can't wait on anybody to do it for you there's no superman coming our chat continues next with the chef behind one of space coast's newest and most successful seafood restaurants and the funny story of how she met her husband. I would start tagging him in my pictures, and he's like, let me just go up to this restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. That is awesome. <laughs> Look what I can make. <laughs> More Florida foodie just ahead. You're back with Florida foodie featuring Q Breadwood. Now we get the story of how she began serving up fried lobster tail and crab fries to tourists and locals alike. So let's jump back in with Q's Crack and Crab. Having your history with a family of entrepreneurs, like you were saying, yeah. is really helpful um, because when you were describing, you know, trying to hire people and you have 10 employees, that seems daunting. Mm -hmm. You know, all the different things. And we talked to so many people who, well, I love to cook, so I wanted yeah. to open a restaurant. But right. there's a lot of other stuff that goes into it. Oh, my gosh. There's so many different things, like uh, from payroll to taxes to uh, personalities, uh, people. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you have employees that really like... Um, Especially when they're family or friends. <laughs> family or friends. Yeah. And then, you know, young, impressionable um, kids mm -hmm. is what I call them. You know, um, they, a lot of times they don't have the experience. And, you know, they don't know how to deal with um, adversity of a uh, mm -hmm. tough situation. So we're teaching them a lot. My husband played football, and so he has that structure. So we have a lot of football players that work with us. So nice. We, mm -hmm. like, I like we're coaching them a lot of times yeah. and stuff like that. That's amazing. How, do you have the cruise ship schedule down so you know... When Here all they of come. Sudden, <laughs> oh, yeah. All so, in their hats and their flip-flops. Yeah. I live on Merritt Island. So when I drive into work, I pass the port every day. And so I literally count the ships. <laughs> I'm like, oh, four ships. Okay, this is going to be how yeah. it is. Five or six or seven. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be crazy. But I feel like they keep adding more cruise yeah, ships no. every day. Yes. Like, and launches. Oh, yeah. Oh, the launches. Yeah, all yeah. of that. Um, so we also think that cues has become like 
a tourist trap almost and that is way bigger than me now which is funny like <laughs> that's good yeah it's what yeah. you want you know yeah. like i don't even wear a name tag or anything like sometimes they recognize me with do they ask for your autograph oh they ask for my picture not <laughs> autograph. <laughs> they always want pictures what is sure. that like well, when... after after this after yeah. this yeah. 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 they'll need your autograph yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's a it's fun. It's cool. I love talking mm-hmm. to the customers. Um, I love um, hearing their stories, how far they've driven to come, um, why they came. We've had a lady that drove four hours because it's our daughters um, cho- uh, chose to come there after heart surgery. Yeah. Um, we've had people drive um, drove like eight hours because they were stationed in Patrick and used to come to us every day, and then they wanted to come back to visit. Oh, nice. Um, it's that's amazing. Yeah. Because we only have 50 seats. Okay. But, like, we'll get a party of 40, 45. Yeah. But that can help. I mean, because yeah. we have talked to other restaurant uh-huh. owners, namely John Rivers, mm-hmm. who, when he started out, had a very small location yeah. in Winter Park. As a result, there was always a line out the door, mm-hmm. and it created a lot of buzz. Yeah. yeah. Why is and, why is everyone always right. there at that line? <laughs> and they, like, they pull up before we open. They line up, and it's fun. It's Waiting like, for their spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We love it. Now, what are your hours? So we're open um, Wednesday through Sunday. At first, it took a lot of people time for people to get used to that. We're, we're closed on Monday and Tuesday. I did that because I wanted to balance our family life. Like I think that maybe for some people, opening seven days a week work for them. But like for us, I want to have some type of life balance mm-hmm. so that after we get off work on Sunday at 6, we can take a vacation and come back Wednesday. <laughs> nice. You That's see? smart. <laughs> That is why yes. you are as successful <laughs> as you are, because you know how to plan out your yes, weekends. Yes, yes. So this July 4th will mark three years in business for you at this location. How mm-hmm. would you describe your growth over those three years? It's been cool because, you know, there's different parts. We had the pandemic part, and then we had the newness, um, and then, like, the growing stage. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I feel like the next three years... Um, we have already solidified who we are, and it's just growing our brand mm-hmm. and figuring out which other locations we want to be at. Oh, so another location. Mm-hmm. Do we have an idea yet of where you want to go? Do you want to keep it in Brevard? Do you want to go somewhere else? We have yeah. so many Orlando customers. Like, <laughs> like I would say yeah. uh, maybe like 30%, 40% that are from wow. Orlando is huge, probably mm-hmm. more than that. Um, we do want to one day go to Orlando. Uh, Vieira is a a hot spot for us. There's so much shopping there. I know. So, like, we're looking at It's Palm dangerous. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, we have people that come from St. Cloud, Kissimmee, Lakeland. And you've also received a lot of awards. Yeah. Tell us about those a awards. A little cherry on yeah. top, shall we? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, last year I received the um, Entrepreneur of the Year Award and um, uh, from Space Coast Black Chamber and also the a uh, new startup business of the year. Congrats. Um, mm-hmm. I'm probably forgetting some. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a, you know, amazing thing. I think my four-year-old may be the business one. Our 14-year-old loves to cook. Mm-hmm. Um, the older ones, it's funny because I have the young and the older set. Mm-hmm. So the older ones are like, man, the girls are growing up different than we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because, yes. You know, we yes. were there when you were grinding. And yeah. now they, they're reaping the reward. <laughs> So yeah. what were you doing before you started that pop-up? And what year did you start that little pop-up when you... Uh, when I started cooking, that was back in 2016. Okay. so Still um, relatively new. Mm-hmm. I mean, within seven years, yeah. you go from your first pop-up yeah. so to, I, to where um, you are today. I was in pharmacy. Like, I thought I wanted to be a pharmacist. Yeah. So I was mm-hmm. a pharmacy tech. I did oncology. I, I did, um, um, mm-hmm. I think, about open, being a, an attorney, business law. Um, and that commercial real estate. Girl. I don't turn it off. I really don't. I mean, you did just tell us, though, right before we started yeah. taping, you're also becoming a, a professional dancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just signed up uh, to be a celebrity dancing for the Space Coast in Brevard. So mm-hmm. I'm learning ballroom dancing. I'm learning Fox, the Fox shot dance right now. So, like, you know, I just turned 40, and I was like, okay, I want to... You know, step outside. I'm pretty shy. I know you won't believe it, but I am. And so <laughs> I wanted to we do don't something. That, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do something different and, um, you know, outside of my bubble. And I'm excited to, you know, go out and learn how to do something new and 
mm-hmm. prove it to myself. You talked a little bit about mentoring some of your employees mm-hmm. and other people in the community. And we obviously meet so many people who have huge dreams of running a business yeah. and a restaurant. What would you tell them as your, you know, prime ingredient in your recipe for success? I say, like, just believe it in yourself. I know it sounds cliche. And I remember being so afraid to, like, step out on faith. And mm-hmm. I felt like God had to just push me out, yeah. you know. And once that happened, like, it's not going to be easy. Like, yeah. there's, I think that people think owning your own business is easy because you're doing what you love. No, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> but it's worth it because you're doing what you love, mm-hmm. you know. So. And there's a lot of fear in that, oh, yeah. too. I mean, you you have invested a lot of money mm-hmm. that it's kind of a big gamble. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. And so, you, and you deal with anxiety and stuff like that. Right. That's something mm-hmm. that I'm always, like... I'm learning to push past because I'm an overthinker. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> did I do this right? Or this yeah. is gonna happen if I do this? What if they don't do this? You know. Um, so, but having my baby just recently mm-hmm. forced me to be pushed out of the everyday situation. Yeah, like you said, sometimes God's the one also kind of guiding you. Now. And so now my team can work the business without me being in it. Sometimes they're like, Miss Q, I got it. It's cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. So it also gives faith in your in your team as yes. well. Be yeah. able to say, okay, I'm gonna step back for a few days. And I then know, but it's like my it. big baby. So yeah, it's, it's just like sometimes I still just want to be in the midst. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I need another one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, going back to your menu real quick, how has that evolved over the seven years that you've been cooking food professionally? <laughs> Because <laughs> I just thought about like how the pictures used to look from the beginning to now. Okay. Oh yeah. So it's evolved a lot. So social media yeah. has played a huge role in that too. Oh yeah. yeah. So I used to post all my pictures. Matter of fact, that's how I met my husband. I was tagging him because <laughs> um, we had a mutual friend, and mm-hmm. like I would start tagging him in my pictures, and he's like, "Let me just go up to this restaurant." <laughs> Wow. Was that intentional? Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I love that. That is awesome. (laughs) Look what I can make. (laughs) And when he came, I made like this big, huge plate. (laughs) So, yeah. So that's how that happened. Okay. (laughs) So what's your favorite thing on your menu? On the fried lobster tail. Fried lobster tail. Fried lobster. Do you have the same thing? Because you are dealing with seafood, so I have to imagine some of stuff is seasonal. Um, um, I say, like, yeah, like, there's some times when we can't do our garlic crab fries and people get really upset mm-hmm. about that they dry. Garlic crab fries? Yeah, so our garlic crab mm-hmm. fries with mm-hmm. blue crab claw meat, so, and garlic aioli sauce, all right crab season we sell <laughs> keep talking yeah. we sell our own seafood seasoning as well mm-hmm. my mom has always done like i remember when i started doing seafood and she was like um i wanted to use like there's a lady that named mrs apples that has a blue crab little shack in mirrored island and i was like let me just use her butter my mom was like no you know, do your own, create your own sauce, mm-hmm. like, so it can be yours. And I'm glad I did listen mm-hmm. yeah. because um, now I have my own individual uh, mm-hmm. sauce that I like to make. And merch. And merch. <laughs> yeah. That's and, uh, awesome. It's been an um, amazing journey. Like, I do have one of our employees that, uh, you know, you find employees that you can't say really like, but, you know, you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, we have one that, Follow my footsteps and has has left me become an entrepreneur. I actually have multiple awesome. ones that I've done that already. That is amazing. And in three years, yeah. So. And probably so many more coming mm-hmm. yeah. from the restaurant. I think um, I've myself before um, getting into this field, I worked as a restaurant uh, hostess and server at this guy's restaurant. And he had five daughters and he's still open his pizza gallery at um, in Vieira. And we've had multiple restaurant owners come from him so it's like nice a cool thing to kind of continue a legacy yeah yeah Yeah. well q breadwood thank you so much for joining us uh we wish you nothing but the best summer season getting in full swing now we know your place is going to be packed all 50 seats (laughs) full every single day yes Yes. thank you thank you ladies for having me and good luck with the dancing Thank you. And if you're ever in an um, area, please stop in. I would love to take care of you. Oh, we will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Deal. a guarantee. Yeah. For sure. Thanks.
No problem. Don't forget, you can get more Florida Foodie anytime you want in the free News 6 Plus app for your smart TV. 